On the balmy autumn afternoon of October the 30th, 1838, here on this ground in northern Missouri, a mob of some 200 men attacked a small Latter-day Saint settlement called Hans Mill. When it was over, 17 were dead and 15 were wounded. Members of the church, the Mormons there are working, they're laboring around the community, the mill's running. Uh, there was no sense of uh, real foreboding that something was going to happen, but of course there was caution. Somewhere between 3 and 4 p.m., they emerged from this wooded, secluded area, and uh, of course the Mormons took notice. Who are these guys? At first they thought they might be coming from far west. Immediately they saw their, they had bandanas, they had blackened their faces, they were all on horses, and they could see they were hostile. Looking up, I suddenly saw the mob coming, the same that took away our weapons. They came like so many demons. Amanda Barnes Smith. The men went to the blacksmith shop, and uh, the women and children ran to the woods, and uh, basically the men were defenseless. They took horses, they took uh, belongings, they took bedding. Uh, not only again from the Mormons who lived there, but from those who were uh, in wagons. Uh, they took what they uh, felt was rightfully theirs, uh, the spoils of conquering. You have to wonder what the hours felt like during the night. People don't know who's all killed. People know someone's wounded, but they don't know what to do. They're not sure where the attackers are. So there's a lot of hiding, a lot of listening, a lot of uh, worry. And so uh, they just didn't have the manpower to dig the graves, and it was cold, the ground's hard, and so the decision was made, we just need to have a, a general burial of all of them in this terrible uh, open well. The message and the feelings that I, I have when I'm there are feelings of respect for them, for their courage, for their faithfulness, their obedience. I've always wanted to be able to look at them and say, you know, uh, I matched. I matched what you gave. And thank you for, uh, for being so strong and for acting so you know, heroically and being true to the faith, being put in a circumstance that you didn't ask for, you didn't plan for, but it came.